One game overshadows everything else coming out this week, and it's none other than the latest from Bioware. Called Anthem, this is a huge departure for a developer known for its epic single-player RPGs, as this is an online multiplayer action RPG. Set on an alien world, you play as a freelancer, a group that leaves the fortified walls of civilization to explore the landscape and fight back against hostile forces. To do that, you equip javelins, which are fully customizable exosuits that let you fly through the air and explore the vast open world. There are four different types of javelins, including the tank-like Colossus and the close-range Interceptor, each of which can use different weapons and a variety of superhuman abilities. You can team up with up to three other people to play missions, take part in challenges, or just wander around. Anthem also has a single-player component, though it's different from what you'd expect. You can explore Fort Tarsus, the game's hub area, and interact with NPCs to gain quests and to build relationships with them. How you build relationships will affect how the game's factions view you, and Bioware has crafted an incredibly detailed world to take full advantage of that. Anthem is planned to last for years, and given Bioware's track record, this is definitely a game that's worth checking out. It wouldn't be Nintendo Direct without the surprise release of several video games. And let me tell you, I don't think anyone was expecting the next Battle Royale game to be Tetris. No, seriously, called Tetris 99, the game drops 99 players into a competitive game of Tetris. For the most part, this is normal Tetris, where you drop Tetraminos down the well to clear lines. But instead of clearing lines to score points, you'll be clearing lines to send them to one of your opponents. You can select the type of player you want to attack, and then you'll try to outlast the other 98 with your superior Tetris skills. At least I hope your skills are superior, you're gonna need them. This is a very weird yet compelling Tetris game, and it doesn't offer much besides the ability to play a Tetris Battle Royale. But you know what the best part is? Tetris 99 is completely free to play if you are subscribed to Nintendo Switch Online. So what are you waiting for? Give it a shot. The second surprise release of the latest Nintendo Direct is Final Fantasy IX, announced last year as part of half a dozen games or so for the Final Fantasy series coming to Switch and Xbox One this year, Final Fantasy IX is the first of the batch to hit store shelves. Originally released 19 years ago, boy, time flies. Final Fantasy IX features a medieval world caught in the grip of war as the nation of Alexandria invades surrounding countries. In the middle of all of this, a thief named Zidane kidnaps the Alexandrian princess Garnett, kicking off a chain of events that puts the fate of the world in his hands. Gameplay-wise, this is a typical Final Fantasy game with typical turn-based battles and traditional mechanics, albeit with a few twists such as a new skill system. It is also one of the most critically acclaimed Final Fantasy games ever, beloved by critics and fans alike. Final Fantasy IX has ported to pretty much every major console at this point, and chances are if you play Japanese RPGs, you've already purchased or played this at some point. But if you haven't, you absolutely need to pick up one of the best games in the Final Fantasy franchise. <laughs> 